Beautiful savanna, that looks awesome. My favorite part of rock climbing photography is being high on a wall, dangling in midair. I think the exposure is kind of exciting and you get to see the world in an entirely different way when you are hundreds of feet above the ground. I'm a photographer based out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and my favorite thing to photograph is women rock climbing. Most people think of Las Vegas entirely as the Strip, and it can be an incredibly busy place. Eight miles away, you can get into this beautiful kind of alien desert landscape with probably the most amazing textures you'll ever see. And the contrast between the two is, is night and day. Rock climbing really changed my life, which is why I'm so drawn to it. Um, it taught me a lot about myself and it taught me hard work and how to not complain and how complaining doesn't really help you on the rock. I think the hardest challenge of rock climbing photography is just the willingness to be uncomfortable. Can you look up at your anchor? Awesome, beautiful. I would categorize my photography as very, very bold and bright and colorful. I don't really care about what you climb. I care about how much passion because I think passion speaks so much more over film than anything else can. And so I would rather you be on your first climb having the time of your life than the world's hardest climb. So we're gonna do uh, this Chrysler crack and it'll be your first off with and your probably first chat climb ever. <laughs> so you're gonna have a blast. <laughs> I want you to feel all of your feelings on your face because I, I think they're gonna be there and it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm you're not even running. there. Awesome. <laughs> Initially, when I was on social media, I kind of saw a lack of people who looked like me. Um, I saw a lot of beautiful photos of pro climbers. And since I didn't know any pro climbers, I just started taking pictures of my friends. And I think the dynamic changes when you just have people taking shots for fun rather than taking shots of the next big rock climb. All right, Savannah, so on these moves, I really want to shoot this beautiful line of the arete. So when you get up there, I really need you to open your body up to me and really look up to those anchors. So it's important to shoot in live mode and get the camera away from my body and face. Especially when you're shooting top down, you really want to make gravity look correct. If you don't make gravity look correct while you're taking the shot, you'll end up cropping it really harshly in post and cropping out most of your photo. That's beautiful, Savannah. I photograph what I want to see in the world and the things that I think that I don't see, I try to put out there just so other people can know that there are many types of people who rock climb. We come in all colors and shapes. And just because you look a certain way or just because what you see on social media is a certain way shouldn't ever put you into a box. And so I try to break out of those norms and show people top roping or hanging on a line or absolutely having the time of their lives rock climbing. Awesome. Come on. You got this. Come on. Reach up, reach up. Yeah! <laughs> get that jump, girl! Yeah. Get it, get it! Yeah. Nice! I think I found photography and rock climbing way later, I think, in life than most people find their passions. Um, I think from a young age, we're told whatever we like to do, we have to stick with that for the rest of our lives. And I think that's completely untrue. For me, I started rock climbing because I saw a picture of somebody climbing with painted fingernails. And that changed my entire perspective of what I thought rock climbing was. I think as a teenager, I just needed more strong female role models just to break out of that thought process of certain things are for me and certain things are not. I 
I challenge people to come into this space to give us a different perspective, to be creative, to find something different in this sport that we haven't seen. As we kind of diversify our sport, we get more narratives in that sport. And it's amazing to see how those narratives change people's lives.